There's a common misconception that rabid wildlife exists solely in rural parts of the country, far from kind of the hustle and bustle of urban and suburban life. But unfortunately, the existence of rabid animals is likely closer to home than you may think. Joining us today is Dr. Richard Ford to talk about the threat of rabies and how to help protect your pets. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us. And you know, I say rabies, and I think that's a term we've all heard at one point in time. But really, what is it? I, I wonder if maybe we really have a, a full grasp of what it is. Well, it's a good point, Tina. Uh, in fact, rabies is a disease of humans as well as animals that's caused by a virus. The virus selectively attacks the nervous system. It's a very serious infection in that it is not possible to treat rabies. So once you get it, you're going to have a bad day. Well, I'm, I'm glad that we're kind of like we're saying, uh, breaking down some of these misconceptions. Is it something that's actually kind of rare in the U.S., or how common is this that we would see rabies? Well, this is, I think, a really important question for anybody who owns a dog or a cat to appreciate. Each year in the United States, about 6,000 animals are confirmed to have rabies, and that includes dogs as well as cats. In fact, there's more cats uh, diagnosed with rabies every year than dogs. And the reason that we see so many of these is that cats and dogs, are, our pets, have contact with the wildlife that are the reservoirs for the virus naturally. And for the same reason, and Tina, as I call it, a dog and a cat, like my friend Trixie here, serve as the critical link between wildlife and humans. So the objective is to protect people and protect your pet at the same time. And doctor, I know you said earlier that it's not curable, but what about preventable? I know you're talking about protecting, so what can we do to keep that from happening? Yes, uh, in fact, uh, Tina, we're really emphasizing awareness and prevention of rabies right now. Um, it is a vaccine preventable disease. In fact, the vaccines are highly effective and they are strongly recommended. In fact, in Arizona, it is required by law. So we'd like to encourage anybody who owns or cares for a dog or a cat to take the responsibility and, and actually have that animal vaccinated. Uh, let me at least mention that there is an initiative, an educational initiative undergone, undertaken by uh, Mariel, a company that makes the PureVax feline rabies as well as the MRAB canine rabies vaccine. And this is a program entitled Goodnight Rabies. Now there's a website. That website is Vaccinate Your Pet dot net and on this website anybody who owns a dog or a cat will find information about vaccination where to go to get a pet vaccinated how often to have the pet vaccinated and quite a bit of other information relevant to protecting pets as well as people well, I love that we got some education right now from you, doctor. We have a website to go to in order to find a location near us. Do you want to maybe leave us with any final words on what we should know or what we should be doing? Well, Tina, if there's any point to really highlight, it's, it's your pet. It's the dog and the cat. And remember, they are the critical link between rabies in wildlife and rabies in humans. So vaccinate your pet, really an important point. All dogs, all cats, all the time. All the time. Dr. and Trixie as well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.